What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariel, if you didn't know. So today's video is going to be all about how to prevent your lashes from actually popping off once you put them on. I know that this is something that a lot of people struggle with. I have gotten so many questions about this and I know it's super common and there are some easy fixes you can do to completely stop this from happening. So let's just get into it. It is all about humidity, so let's go into the lash room and see what humidity is. If you have a hydrometer in your room, it will totally benefit you. So what this is, is this little guy here. I got this on like Amazon for like 10 bucks. And what it does is it tells you the temperature of your room along with the humidity range in your room. You absolutely need to know the humidity range in your room. As you can see with this little sad face, my humidity range is low. It should be anywhere between 40 to 60%. And the reason being is because my adhesive does best within 40 to 60% because our adhesives don't dry, they cure. So that means that your humidity level needs to be optimal. So that way that your adhesive will cure at its right pace. And by the time you place the lash onto your natural lash, it will actually hold rather than pop off. Along the lines of adhesive that we're talking about it, there are a couple things you wanna know. One is definitely your humidity range, but the other is you need to know the dry time of your adhesive. You wanna know how long it takes for it to actually cure. So we're gonna come over here. I have both of our adhesives lined up right here for you guys. So we wanna make sure that when you're looking at your adhesive, you're looking at what the manufacturer suggests, right? So if you look at the label down here, you'll see that it says drying time two to three seconds, and then it'll say retention time, and then it'll say ideal humidity, 40 to 60%. This guy over here, you'll see that it says drying time one to two seconds, ideal humidity range, 55 to 70%, and then retention time. The idea here is that once you know your ideal dry time, you're able to work with your own hand speed. You have to know your hand speed and the speed of your adhesive, so that way you're not working too fast or too slow with your adhesive, and your adhesive isn't drying too quickly or too slow for your hand speed. The next thing that you absolutely need to be aware of is cleaning your client's lashes. You need to make sure that you have an absolute clean surface for your natural lashes, well, for your extensions to be applied onto your natural lashes, or else the lashes are literally just gonna slip right off and not adhere at all, and that's when they start popping off like crazy. So we have my little mannequin head here. Um, there was some practice going on here, so she has some lashes on, those guys are old, but what I'm gonna show you guys really quickly is how you wanna make sure you're cleaning your client's lashes. So you definitely wanna give it a nice brush. Some of these guys may fall off because it's been a while. Okay, so give it a nice brush. And then once you're done that, grab your two little micro swabs, and then you're gonna take your primer or your cleanser, whichever one, but a nice primer. Oh, she's getting dirty, okay. A nice primer never hurt. I'm gonna put it on that. And then I'm gonna go straight from root to tip, just through and through the lash line. Make sure all of them get nice and coated. They're nice and clean. What this does is absorb all the oil, dirt, debris from your client's lashes that they may have, any kind of residue or anything like that. So that way when you go to apply your extension, the adhesive will bond properly because it's a clean surface. And that's it. Okay, so the last thing I wanna talk about is how much glue you're actually applying to your extension. So I know that something you definitely wanna be careful of is not applying too much glue because you don't want the bubbles on the extension and then apply that to your natural lash and have too much glue that's like slipping and sliding or just getting stuck to other lashes. When you're so mindful on not applying too much glue, you might actually be applying too little. So you wanna make sure that you're just getting the right amount and you're able to get enough for that extension to grab onto that natural lash, almost like a magnet. I'm gonna show you guys quickly. So I have my little classic lash here. So I'm gonna grab it and I'm literally gonna dip it in, but I almost leave it there for like a nice second so I know that it's definitely getting coated. 
and then I pull it out. As you can see, there are no clumps, no bubbles. If I dip it in again, you'll see that there will be bubbles. If you can see at the bottom there, it's a little bit thicker. That's what you don't want. <laughs> We're gonna take another one and I'm gonna do the same thing again. Just kind of put it in for a second give it a nice little dip and then see how it's evenly coated. You don't see it, but I know that the lash is fully lathered where it's supposed to be. So it'll uh, adhere properly to the natural lash. I hope that you found it helpful. I hope that these little tips actually help you in terms of being able to practice and just getting better. I know how frustrating it is, especially when your lashes are popping off. So if these little tips can make a huge difference in your lashing game, you definitely need to try them out right now if you have this problem. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back with something new next time. Bye.